This is the Marvel Legends series, Marvel celebrating 85 years, Superior Spider-Man. Wow, this thing looks actually, it looks better up close and in person. I missed out my chance to get this one from Amazon.com, but I did pick up this figure from Hobby Corner. Let's get this bad boy out of packaging. And here is the Superior Spider-Man out of the box and are you kidding me hasbro oh my goodness look at this thing i mean just what i can't believe how incredible this thing looks and it is those spider legs that are just really driving this figure that's just really really selling this figure sure the figure sculpt is amazing it's not something we haven't seen before but it's the best of all these articulations from the other spider-man figures he's got fan a fantastic paint job that head sculpt the paint the the webbing uh, on this figure uh, we'll talk about that later he's got some new hands these these like claw-like hands but i'm gonna spider legs it's those spider legs that that really bring this figure home it's what's going to sell this figure let's take a closer look at the details of this new marvel legends 85th anniversary superior spider-man great power does equate great responsibility otto octavius will become the superior spider-man <laughs> 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 Head to toe, the figure stands at about 16 and a quarter centimeters tall or about six and three eighths inches tall. The figure comes with a ton of accessories, mainly the spider legs. The spider legs will need some assembly. You're gonna have to plug them into or onto his backpack, the one with holes in it. Each of the spider legs, the extra spider legs have articulation. We'll talk about that later. He also comes with an extra backpack that doesn't have any holes in it. I'm not sure why they had to put this. I guess they wanted to make the figure as complete as possible for those who are doing stop motion and who want to display this figure without the legs. I doubt there's any collector who's going to display this figure without the legs. There is the option for that backpack. However, instead of this backpack, I would have wished maybe some blast effects or some webbing or something just to put some background and, and, and spice up the display of this figure. But okay, they want it to be as complete as possible. He also comes with some extra hands. Uh, he comes packed with the clenched fists. He's got the flip hands and he's got these new, my favorite hands out of these uh, of this figure are the, these like claw menacing evil hands. And I think that's that's probably how I'm going to display this figure with the, the claw hands. I mean, for those of you who are unaware of what the Spider-Man version is, there was a time that, uh, spoiler alert for those who haven't read it, um, Peter Parker was actually uh, fighting a dying Doc Ock. Doc Ock was dying and the only recourse he had was to swap brains and to swap minds with Peter. And that's what he did. He swapped brains and Peter died in, uh, died in uh, Doc Ock's frail aging and dying body while Doc Ock his mind was transferred through some contraption or whatever he transferred it to Peter's very young virile body and now he inhabits Peter's body and he calls himself the superior Spider-Man because what he did was he completed the PhD of Peter I mean he built everything it's sort of like uh, these these whole superior lines were like the like superior Iron Man it was sort of a what if a hero had zero morals or he was a not an immoral but a amoral hero it's a hero basically that was not afraid to kill was not afraid to do everything it it took to achieve results basically nothing was off the table that that was the kind of uh, spider-man this was so kind of like i wouldn't say an evil spider-man i i guess it it's probably not a heroic, not a uh, typical hero type of, of, of Spider-Man as, as you would see Peter Parker do. Because obviously, it's Otto Octavius inhabiting his body. And that's why he's got these legs. Not because he took the uh, Iron Spider ar armor, but because he is Doc Ock. And Doc Ock has these extra arms. And that's what he did with his spider suit. And he's got the gauntlets. And he's got a brand new design. And I am 
loving it. So let's talk about the design of this suit. It's basic, basic figure, hardly any paint. The toes are painted and the top part of it is painted. I think it's a hybrid of different Spider-Man uh, figures. The lower half, it, it looks very familiar. I think it's the... Uh, I think it's the Renew Your Vows with the toe articulation and the drop-down ball joints. We'll talk about articulation later. But the top part, I believe, is the uh, the other Spider-Man, like the Scarlet Spider or uh, uh, Amazing Fantasy. Uh, no, not Amazing Fantasy, but something else. Uh, it, it, I feel it, or a Ben Riley Spider-Man. I feel it's like a hybrid. Somebody let me know. I'm pretty sure I, I, I got it wrong. <laughs> but because I, I don't have a lot of Spider-Man figures now. Uh, but I'm liking it. I'm loving this this figure design, this body sculpt design. I am just absolutely gushing over it. I love the gauntlets. They, they've been glued onto the forearms. And look at that design, the uh, comic book accurate uh, webbing on his suit. And if you look closely, you've got those crooked webbing on, on the costume and rightly so that was how it was in the comic book and he does come with an extra head sculpt uh, I, I deliberately talked about this one last because when it was first revealed they said we're going to do the one with the reflection of the cityscape and the one that's just plain and i thought this was going to be stupid why would anybody want something like this with the reflection on the eyes everybody wants a plain vanilla spider-man head and I could not be further for, from the truth because looking at these two head sculpts now with the crooked lines and all that, I thought the one with the reflection is the better head sculpt. It just gives the, the, the figure so much more character, so much more personality. It just makes that head sculpt pop. It makes this plain one as exactly it, what it is, plain vanilla head sculpt. This one just, it just evokes so much emotion. And I'm glad to be proven wrong. This is the better head sculpt. I think the designers did a good, made a good call in putting this reflectorized uh, uh, eyes uh, on the mask, reflecting, re reflecting the the buildings. I, I love it. This one is is probably going to stay in the box because this is this is the head sculpt that was meant uh, for this figure. And you can see the crooked uh, webbing uh, goes through the torso with the. Uh, much of uh, the bite of the deltoids i mean just amazing paintwork and there's hardly any quality issues i mean the if you see some lines that are skewed and crooked i think it was by design that's really how he looked like in the comic books well maybe that centerpiece right there in the middle uh, on his nose maybe it's a little bit crooked but, but I, I think that that's really intentional because he is a crooked spider and i guess that that that's what it's, it's happening. But uh, yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Now the backpack is removable. It comes in three pegs, which is great. It gives it more stability. The legs have their own articulation. Uh, they've got the swivel where the peg joins the backpack. There's a hinge on one end. There's another hinge on the other and a swivel. Same thing on the other one, a hinge and a swivel and a hinge on a swivel on the last digit that have all the four uh, legs are identical and i think hasbro has learned their lesson from the iron spider figure neck is on a ball joint that is on a hinge great great range of articulation rightly so i wish they could have put this one on the wolverine the new wolverine figure we had the top part of his torso is on a ratcheting ab crunch hinge he's got a waist swivel unfortunately there is no ball joint on his torso which is okay doesn't matter. Butterfly hinge joints for the shoulders. Shoulders go in and out, forward, backward, 360. He's got a bicep swivel, uh, double jointed elbows that are pinless. The wrists are on swivels and go in and out. Same with the other uh, fists, other hands. The hips are on drop down ball joints, much like what we've had with uh, the Renew Your Vow Spider Man and much of the classified series figures for G.I. Joe. Uh, they have hips again on a ball joint. They go in and out, forward and backward, do the splits. He's got a thigh swivel, double jointed knees that are pinless. He's got the boot cut. Ankles can go up and down and have the rocker tilt. And he's got that toe articulation. And for this figure, I thought that toe articulation was just perfect to get him into all that crawling poses and all that. Hinges, joints, everything is tight about this figure. Nothing loose about it no mold degradation or anything like that i am so so pleased 
with how this figure came out. And for comparisons with other Marvel Legends figures, here we have the retro carded Model 20 uh, Iron Man, both from the 85th anniversary uh, line of Marvel Legends. We've got uh, Carol Danvers, Miss Marvel as Warbird, and the Astonishing X-Men, Logan the Wolverine. Now, can the legs support the figure without a flight stand? Well, to a certain extent, they can, but you can see how gummy some of the joints are, and talagang lulundo. Hindi kaya yung bigat. I mean, he, the legs are really gonna give at some point. They, it's 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 a little disappointing. I I thought the uh, the Photoshop images were were really authentic that they this thing could stand on its own, but. I, I've seen others have him stand in a, using all the four legs and it, it's really a chore to make him stand. But you can see right here, he's, he's like levitating. He's not hitting the ground or anything. Like that. But over time, if you leave this on the shelf, this thing is going to go soft and he's just going to go wilt and all that. But it is a shame. Oh, no. Wait, I stand corrected. I guess you can position all the digits in one direction and... Uh, I guess he can stand on all the four legs. Will is he gonna hold? Is he gonna hold? Yeah, uh, I think he can do it. But you can see already this joint like giving in and uh, yeah. But yeah, I guess it is it is possible. And so some final thoughts on uh, the superior Spider-Man. Oh my goodness, I honestly did not believe this thing was gonna look this good. I had judged this figure all over when it was first revealed. I, I thought I didn't need it. I, th I said, I was like, ah, oh, this is gonna be another Iron Spider in the making. I was completely wrong about this figure. This figure is one of the best releases for Marvel Legends this year. Easily the best Spider-Man figure for 2024. If you have to pick up just one Spider-Man figure for 2024, it has got to be this figure. Just don't pay too much for it. This figure is going to get a 10 out of 10. Truly, this figure, out of all the Spider-Man figures for the Marvel Legends line, at least for this year, is the superior one. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this Marvel Legends celebrating 85 years. Doc Ock inside Peter Parker's body as the superior Spider-Man. Hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.